everyone welcome to the new video of case studies from applied forensic research sciences today i am here to discuss case study written by mr vijay panchal and presented by me itself anushka yadav the case study we are going to discuss is jamna shankar was a state of rajasthan the case of bb criminal appeal number 367 by 2015 Date of judgment was 25 September 2019. Bench: The Honorable Mr. Sabina Govardhan Bardhar High Court of Judicature for Rajasthan Bench at Jaipur. Court was Rajasthan High Court. Section 376 of Indian Penal Code 1860 Punishment of Rape. Section 376 4 of Indian Penal Code 1860 Section 377 of Indian Penal Code 1860 Unnatural Offences Section 392 of Indian Penal Code 1860 Punishment of Robbery Section 341 of Indian Penal Code 1860 Punishment of Wrongful Restraint Section 2 323 of Indian Penal Code 1860 punishment of voluntary causing hurt section 34 of indian penal code 1860 actions done by several person in furtherance of common intention section 3762 g of indian penal code 1860 commits gang rape Sex- section 394 of indian penal code 1860 voluntary causing hurt in committing robbery section 313 crpc 1973 power to examine accused the story behind the crime were as follows the witness box has deposed on 12 12 12 it means 12 december 2012 On 12 December 2012 she was going to her parental house from her matrimonial home as her father was unwell she got down from the bus near ganeshi railway crossing she was going towards her village the moment she has crossed the railway crossing two boys who were under the influence of liquor were traveling on the motorcycle and they asked her to sit on their motorcycle she raised alarm another motorcycle come from behind and the boys then drove their motorcycle towards the village believing that the boys must have gone ahead she continued walking towards her village and when she had walked for about 1 mile she found that those two boys were hiding in bushes she the said boys caught hold the and beat beat her and raped her the boys also threatened her in the case she narrated the incident to the police they took away 2000 rupees lying in her purse and also took away her ticket and mobile phone the said person after threatening her tried to take her along on their motorcycle but the tire of motorcycle was punctured then they made her alight from the motorcycle in the meantime trilok sharma and ram avatar come on motorcycle and on seeing them appellant fled away from the spot Then Ram Avatar and Trilok Sharma took her to her parental home, and she narrated the incidents to her brother and lodged the FIR number four hundred four, dated on two December two thousand twelve. Recovery of the purse and mobile phone belonging to the prosecutrix. The prosecutrix is July collaborated by medical evidences. The prosec. Cutrix has the suffered injuries on her cheeks, private parts, thighs and back. There was swelling in her vagina also. She had medical examined the prosecutrix and had found that there were 5 of 7 CRLA 
367 but 2015 nail scratches on her cheeks there were bite marks on her breasts there was swelling in her vagina and when swab was taken from the vagina it was bleeding there were stretches on her both thighs there were black stretches and nail stretches on her back from the examination of prosecutrix it would be said that she had been raped she proved the report exhibit p11 the judgment came from the court of rajasthan first as follows so far as offense under 376d is concerned the same become effective with the effect from 3 to 2013 whereas the offense in the present case has occurred on 12 12 12 due to this reason charge has been rightly framed against the appellant under section 376 2g of ipc the trial court fell in error in ordering the conviction of the appellants under sex section 376d of ipc accordingly the conviction of the appellants under section 376d of ipc is altered to conviction under section 376 2g of ipc and appellant are sentenced to undergo imprisonment for life and shall pay fine of 10000 each and in default of payment of fine appellant shall further undergo rigorous imprisonments of 3 months the sentence awarded to the appellants under 7 of 7 CRLA 367 2015 section 376d of IPC consequently stands set aside conviction and sentence of the appellants under section 394 of IPC is maintained appellants are convicted qua charge framed against them under section 377 of IPC appeal stands disposed of accordingly thank you for being here with me throughout the video do not forget to like share and subscribe and also press the bell icon for latest updates thank you